What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, happy whatever day of the week it is for you. I'm coming at you with another weekend vlog because she only does exciting things on the weekend half the time. But I'm heading actually to the gym right now. So I figured I'd just start her on up because I missed you guys. So without further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And let's get started. All right, fam. So just got back from the gym. It was mega packed. So I did not bring you with me because I was like, you girls gotta get a workout in. But I actually showered and washed my hair. So I wanted to show you this new, new serum that my hairstylist, I think I've shown you before, but basically I was telling her, I'm like, hey, my hair does not grow past this. It's really frustrating. I've been growing my hair out for years, maybe six years. It won't grow, it won't grow. And she's like, well, it's because your, your ends are so dry. So she's like, why don't you try the serum? And I've noticed it does help a little bit. It makes, it makes my hair incredibly smooth. So this is not an ad. This is just what I want. It's literally called smooth, just smooth. God will, just smooth. I'll link it down below for you, but I've been applying it. So you can only apply it once you wash your hair. I probably apply it like once or twice a week when I wash my hair, but I am starving. So let's make ourselves a good old sandwich. Friend Denise also invited us over for a fun whiskey tasting. Michael loves whiskey, not me. I'll have the wine, but I was like, ooh, I'll make a charcuterie board. So. Maybe we'll do that too, cause that's fun. I love, love, love charcuterie boards. Anyone that knows me well knows I love cheese. made my sandwich and now I'm gonna munch on some strawberries too. Okay, we're back and I'm getting ready to crimp my hair, wave my hair. Very trendy when we were growing up. The trend is here. And this company called Insert Here, that's like actually the name of their company, sent me a waver, like a crimper, and I'm really excited for our whiskey tasting to put crimped hair. So let's get started, but it came in this packaging and a glove and I'm heating everything up right now. How cute is their little marketing though? Okay, so here's what it looks like, cute and pink, and then you toss on some gloves. I'm hoping this only takes 10 minutes because your girl needs to still go run and make a charcuterie board. There's only one glove. Do I hold it? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out, but I'm left-handed, so it should be the other way. Does anyone else crimp their hair? Is it called crimping still or no? Like, I used to call it crimping. It was very cool very mermaid-like. And my friend Riley crimps her hair all the time and it looks fabulous on her. So I'm hoping it'll look good on me. I also just kind of want to look like aquamarine in it, you know, when she crimps her hair. So we'll find out, we'll find out, friends. So far, not too bad. I feel like I could go over that. Is anyone else cringing, hoping like, please don't burn yourself, because that's me. But man, okay, I'm gonna show you some really embarrassing throwback photos prepare to giggle because my cousin Bailey and I, we utilized a crimper. Oh, I think it's supposed to go this way. I think I was doing it the wrong way. Anyways, we really utilized the crimper when we were in like seventh grade and our like cousin had gone to like proms and tolos and we went through her closet and dressed up and then took photos on our flash cameras and uploaded them on Facebook. Very embarrassing but I kept them, so here they are. I was a hardcore brunette, and I'm kinda like wondering if I should go back. I could dig being brunette again, on the account of it's my natural hair color. Now I have no idea which way you're supposed to actually crimp it, but I feel like that way was proper. My hair does not hold anything, so I'll just kinda hairspray her. This is why I'm not a beauty YouTuber. Well, I'm like lazy with my hair, so I'm like two chunks and we're done. Also, I've been watching Emily in Paris recently. Anybody else watching that? Because she's so cute. And I wish I was in Paris, like my friend Bianca. I asked her, I was like, hey Bianca, how accurate is it that every boy comes up to you and fawns over you? And she was like, no, that's not accurate at all, Savannah. Okay, this is probably boring you. So once this is done, I will check back. Okay, where's the time gone? I crimped my hair and then got distracted, went to Trader Joe's. But this is the outcome and I'm not very impressed with it. 
I just feel like I look like I just braided my hair. Am I doing it wrong? Please comment down below if I was. Like this is already falling out, but it's kind of cute, kind of cute. So put on uh, some normal attire and we went to shop Trader Joe's. I wanna show you what we make for charcuterie because it's bomb. Nuts of some sort. Four assortments of crackers. And then I always grab like three different cheeses too. And then fig butter, this looked bomb. So snag that up. You know, like the sweet with the savory. Then some meats. Usually I just get salami, but they were out. So we got a plethora. And we got brie cheese, but we do triple cream. Otherwise it's not creamy enough. Some goat cheese. And then this one's bomb. It's like cheddar cheese with caramelized onion. Mm. And then a big ol' cheese board. Good morning, friends. It is now the next morning. We've been watching Captain Marvel because we're almost done with Avengers. And I'm making a little brekkie. So I'm making Michael scrambled eggs. I'm making myself some sunny side up eggs. And then we're gonna have some avocado toast. Brent and I are going for a walk. There he is, having a little mother-daughter, mother-son bonding time. Sorry, Bentley, I just called you a girl. And thank you, ma'am. And we're going to go pick up at Phil's Coffee right now. A lot of you guys are always like, what Phil's Coffee do you get? And usually I do the Tesora for like the mint mojito. But lately, I've been on the cold brew. Sweet and creamy, it's bomb. It's like caramely and hazelnut. How many of you guys have Phil's Coffee or have had it? I I never had it until I moved here and I was like, what is this? They don't make espresso. But it grows on you over time, I feel like. So they just do overport coffee and then add a crap ton of sweetness and creamer in it. But it's pretty good. So we're gonna walk the beach. I'm not sure how far I'll go with Bentley. I figured I'd still get active um, today and just go for a nice long walk with Sir Benton. loves the sand and he gets sand zoomies. Watch this. Sand zoomies! Sand zoomies! Sand zoomies! Okay, Billy, I can't run. <laughs> Yo! Okay. You are a psycho. Sand zoomies! You just got so much sand on me. All right, we are en route to running errands to Costco. And we're gonna grab a bite to eat because Michael had some calls today. I went and worked out um, and cleaned a little bit. And yeah, we're just gonna have a little day of it. It's a riveting Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice when you don't have plans. So you can do random things like go to Costco because you're low on dog food. So it'll be good. Let's get the fancy food this time. Yeah, right. yeah. Right? Oh That's yeah. That's a good update. Yeah, my there dad, my dad sent over like the kind that he does for his dog, except I don't think you can get it at Costco. Well, I'm just saying, like, we're transitioning. Yeah, we're transitioning to some nice, really nice food for Bentley. So Bentley, you're welcome. It's just not eating rocks anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, we always say, do you just want your rocks today? Just kibble, guys. Like, we feed him well. It's organic. But still, <laughs> they probably don't enjoy kibble 24-7, you know? Time to get some, some, like, actual dog food. Wet dog food? I don't know. But yeah, so that's our plan. Good morning, it is now Sunday. We've got a good pumpkin spice candle going right now. Last night we finished the Avengers, so sad. Could not stop crying, the last Avengers is so sad. Anyways though, I'm making myself a pre-workout snack right now. Um, we have pumpkin waffles from Trader Joe's and I was just gonna have a waffle, put some peanut butter and syrup on it because she's feeling, she's feeling like having it right now, you know? And then I'm actually gonna go do cardio. So since I took a couple days off last week, I just am making sure to make up for it on the weekends. And usually one session a week, I like to just focus on cardio and it's more of like a relaxation time for me. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I figured I'd finish this vlog out today. And I did wanna kind of go over some tips because it is Sunday and it's gonna be the next week is some tips and tricks that I do to get and stay in shape. So I feel like a lot of people are like, how do you maintain a healthy relationship? Oh, toaster just popped. Like a healthy relationship um, 
you know, year round instead of burning out or something like that. So I also kind of just wanted to hang out with you today and go over it and cover some tips that I've like noticed worked for me. Oh, let's get started. Let's go get the little pumpkin waffle. Okay, I just finished my waffle and it was wonderful. And now I'm just kind of letting it sit before I go do cardio. Um, honestly, I forgot how much I love waffles. They are my downfall. I will eat all the waffles in the world and be happy. I'm basically Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec. Anyone else watch Parks and Rec? Hmm? Hmm? Anyways, I kind of wanted to go over like some of the most important tips to me when you are trying to stay like on top of your health um, and like really following a track for your goals is you need to write out your goals weekly. I feel like a lot of people might do it like once a month, maybe once a year, like new year, which is fine. But at the same time, you're going to hold yourself a bit more accountable if you're doing it every week. So Michael and I actually have these giant sticky notes and we will sit down together every Sunday night and we'll write a section for Michael and a section for Savannah and we'll have goals that we want to achieve, whether it is health, uh, business, relationship, anything like that. I strongly suggest if you have a spouse or even just doing it with yourself, it is so nice to like sit down and like get on the same page and, and also encourage each other like, hey, yeah, you can totally achieve that. Or, okay, you have to do X, Y, and Z. Like, let me help you out this week and we'll get this done. And then also you can revisit it the next week, which is pretty cool. So then you'll see like, hey, did I actually fall through with what my goals were? And sometimes you don't, which is okay. But at the same time, you're like kind of noticing and it kind of kicks you in the tush to be like, maybe you should follow through with your goals. Um, so I think that's really helpful. And also like having a weekly planner and writing out like whatever it may be, whether it's meal prepping, maybe it's workouts, um, maybe like you don't wanna do cardio yourself. So you're gonna go do cardio with your friends at a class. I'm actually gonna sign up uh, for a spin class and a yoga class uh, with my friend Riley, just because I wanted to be held a little bit more accountable with my cardio lately. So it's like things like that to be like, hey, okay, I have cardio class at 6 a.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays, something like that. I think it's really helpful when you have a plan with your workouts. Even back when I was in college, I would always write out my weekly plan planner um, not only for my homework I also worked a part-time job there so I would usually bring all of my workout gear with me to school and then I worked on campus so I just drop it off at my office and then I always made sure hey okay at five o'clock like I'm done working and I'm gonna walk to the gym so I just think it kind of organizes your life a bit more and holds you definitely more accountable to hey okay today was like day I'm not gonna bail out on it do you know what I mean who was snoozing next to me and I didn't even see him with his little toy love how you just carry your toy in our bed Bentley how can you not love this face sir Benton okay let's head to do our cardio wanted to show you my outfit though so these are some old legacy shorts I think they were discontinued from Gymshark which is really sad because they're one of the most comfiest shorts I wear them running a lot because you can put like your keys in here so hoping that they bring it back or they do like reamped <laughs> I also sneezed on my camera <laughs> just now so oops uh, good thing you're watching virtually I feel fine I just had a sneeze it's the allergies right now anyways I'm wearing the utility box crop um, jacket I actually got this at a Black Friday sale for Gymshark about a year ago and they actually still have them in stock and they're one of my favorite jackets they have like fun little holes in your weenus I always thought that was a funny word. Um, and then I'm wearing the Soul Lift yellow sports bra. I don't know if they're ever restocking that. I know it sold out pretty quickly and they haven't restocked it. So always keep your eyes peeled, but I think it's really cute and it's like one of the most comfiest sports bras I've ever worn. Alrighty, guess who got her nails done? But we're going red for Halloween. I feel like it's kind of spooky and it ties in with my Halloween costume. I also finished Emily in Paris while I got my nails done. The ending, like I was expecting it to be carried on. Like how's there only 10 episodes? But it's wonderful, love that show. Also I'm gonna run over to Vaughn's, a grocery store. I did wanna kind of bring up as well, like if you can meal prep for your weeks, I feel like that is crucial every Sunday I literally make a list I was just on the phone with Michael and I made a list dog food potatoes avocado like you name it make a list for it and then 
head out, get it, and I'm probably gonna prep things like potatoes. And you guys have seen I prep our sandwiches by cutting like tomatoes and onions like ahead of time and just keep them in a Ziploc bag in the fridge or something. That way all we have to do is literally make the sandwich on the spot and it's so easy. You don't have to cut anything up. Uh, even when I make like sweet potato fries, I cut them all up myself on Sundays and then I keep them in the fridge. Anything like that I feel like is so beneficial for you when you're trying to stay on track. Just in general because you won't be tempted with like, oh shoot, like I didn't prep for anything so I'm gonna go, you know, grab something at Taco Bell. I feel like it's really important just to also plan out your meals. So I've already gotten um, chicken wings, I got shrimp, and then I also have the chicken fajitas from Trader Joe's. So that's gonna be our meal for this entire week and then I'll just like plan the sides along with it. But if I don't ha if I don't go into the week knowing what meals Michael and I are gonna have, it's gonna be Chipotle. Like we're just not gonna pay attention. We're gonna do the fast food and that's not always bad, but if you are trying to stay on track with your diet, I feel like it'd be really beneficial to spend 30 minutes of your Sunday and go and meal prep, shop for it. And honestly, it's kind of relaxing. Like pop in a podcast, pop in like a TV show like Emily in Paris, and then just prep your food and have containers for it. Good morning, family. It is now Monday morning, having a cup of joe. It is incredibly windy out. The thing about Southern California is it could be beautiful blue skies, but the wind is so stormy and so chilly sometimes. But I did want to wrap up this vlog and leave ya with my last tip. I feel like when you're starting over with a new week, you wanna get as much sleep as possible. So that may mean not drinking the night beforehand or going to bed early, something like that, so you feel energized on a Monday morning and not like groggy or anything like that. So Michael and I watched Halloween Town 1, Halloween Town 2, while we played Sorry with some charcuterie, and then we called it a night and we went to bed at like 9.30 because your girl wanted to be able to fall asleep before 10 because we were gonna get up earlier today. I definitely snoozed my alarm clock till 6.50 though, but that's okay, we're still working on it. But moral of the story is you do want to make sure you're getting a proper amount of sleep. So maybe try going to bed early. It doesn't even mean you have to go to bed, but be in your bed. That way you get a bit more sleepy, read a book, something like that. Um, you know, stay hydrated. Things that are gonna make you feel great and starting fresh on Monday morning like today well anyways I hope you guys liked this vlog comment down below if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you next time